Okay, today we're going to be looking at lesson six and two tenths, area, finding missing side lengths. Buckle up, buttercup. So why are we doing this? Well, because we need to really understand area and perimeter and how to figure out properties of rectangles and how opposite sides are congruent and how to figure out the missing side lengths. So we're going to be doing lots of things to help us with that today. So one of the important things that we need to remember is this magic formula right here. A equals L times W. Area equals length times width. Now this works only with rectangles and squares. So we need to keep that in the back of our mind. And then I'm going to bring out our first problem right here. Let's say that we have this shape and we know the length of this side, which is 8 feet, and we know the area. But we're missing this side right here. So first of all, can you think of an equation that's going to help you solve that? See if you can write that down. Pause for a sec. Did you come up with this equation? 640 divided by 8 equals m. Or did you do 8 times m equals 640? Either one of those would work. So hopefully you figured out that this side would be 80 feet. Okay, that's our first example. One of the things that you'll be doing in class is a chart similar to this where they give you an object or a shape and they tell you in one column and then they give you maybe the length of one of the sides or they don't, like in this first one we don't know the length, but they gave us the width and they gave us the area. So we're going to solve this the same way that we just did on the first example. So I can do 20 divided by 4, or I can think in my head what times 4 equals 20. And hopefully you know that math fact and know that that would be 5. And that's really hard to see, so let me fix that. There we go, all fixed. All right, so let's look at object B. So this time I know that my length is nine and I know the area is 45. So what is my width? Hopefully you came up with, oh, five again. How about that? Okay, because five times nine is equal to 45. Let's take a look at our last one. We have letter C or shape C. And our width is 3. Our area is 27. So I'm thinking in my head 27 divided by 3 or 3 times what equals 27. And hopefully you figured out that that is 9. So this is something else that you'll be doing in class. And... We will also, in class, be playing a couple of games that are going to help us with these skills, rugs and fences, multiplication wrestling, because we still need lots of practice on our multiplication facts, and we're going to work to solve those types of problems, like I showed you, using diagrams and equations. Mission accomplished.